Next lesion is cherubism. It is one of the fibrooceous lesion and which is more commonly seen in children below the age of five years and which is characteristic bilateral swelling of the jaw and the children will get a characteristic cherubic-like appearance. An autosomal dominant fibrooceous lesion involving jaws and affecting more than one quadrant and which stabilizes after the growth period, usually leaving some facial deformities and malocclusion. The disease was first described in 1933 by Jones. The mutation in SH3BP2 gene is the reason for cherubism. And uh, due to this mutation, there will be triggering in the production of osteoclast. That, that is, there is defect in osteoclast in cherubic patients. But in case of fibrous dysplasia, it is the defect in osteoclast. Here is a picture of a child who is having cherubism. And here the clinical features include, which affects the jaws of children bilaterally and symmetrically, and usually producing cherubic look. Here, this picture showing the symmetrical bilateral expansion of both jaws and the children will have, uh, or child is having characteristic cherubic-like appearance. Cherubs means angels, hence he is having angel-like look. which is normal, uh, the patient will be normal at birth, but in the age of 14 months to three years of age, there is enlargement of jaws begins, and which is slowed down at the age of five year, and which is completely stopped at the age of puberty, that is during 12 to 15 years. Then the jaw remodeling continues throughout the decade of third decade of life. And the jaw lesions are usually painless, and symmetrical, uh, firm to palpation and non-tender. They involve uh, the molar to coronoid region and the condyle is usually spared and often associated with uh, cervical lymphadenopathy. The intraoral swelling of alveolar ridge may occur and the when the maxillary ridge is involved, the palate assumes a V-shape. Hence, a cherubic child will have V-shaped palate. A removed sclera may be visible beneath the iris, giving a classic eye to heaven appearance. This is the characteristic feature of uh, cherubism, that is a removed sclera beneath the iris and the eyes to heaven appearance. The oral manifestations of uh, cherubism include a genesis of second and third molar, that is there is missing of second and third molar in the uh, cherubic patients and there will be displacement of teeth, premature exfoliation and delayed erection of the permanent teeth and the uh, transposition and rotation of teeth will be common. In severe cases, root tooth resorption occurs. In 1978, Arnold classified or graded the cherubic patients into three grades. Grade one, there is involvement of both mandibular ascending rame. In case of grade two, there is both maxillary as well as mandibular joints affected. Uh, involvement of both tuberosities in maxilla and in case of mandibular, both rame are affected. In case of grade three, McEwen albright syndrome and involvement of whole maxilla and mandible except the coronoid process and condylar process. Then the radiographic features, uh, it's a diagnostic uh, investigations done in uh, cherubic patients. There is multilocular cystic expansion of the jaw. There is multilocular cystic expansion. In this picture, we can see these are the multilocular uh, radiolucencies in both sides. And this is the multilocular expansion of the jaw. There is displacement of inferior anterior canal and the presence of numerous unerupted teeth. This is the characteristic feature and giving a name like 
floating tooth syndrome here you can see the uh, unerupted multiple unerupted teeth within the radiolucencies and uh, give the name like floating tooth syndrome to the disease chirubisa next is the histopathological features here the characteristic feature is multinucleated giant cells and formation of collagenous stroma and large number of fibroblasts and there is uh, numerous small blood vessels and capillaries and having endothelial cells and perivascular cuffing is seen on the endothelial cells the eosinophilic cuffing appears to be the specific to cherubism this endothelial perivascular cuffing is the or eosinophilic cuffing is the characteristic feature of cherubism in all the lesions there is a uh, increase in fibrous tissue and decrease in the multinucleated giant cells and there is formation of new bone this picture is the histopathology of cherubism we can see the multinucleated giant cells showing multiple nucleus within a cell and there is a plum fibroblast eosinophilic fibroblast characteristic fibrous and eosinophilic cuffing on the endothelial lining the differential diagnosis of cherubism include giant cell granuloma of the jaw osteoclastoma aneurysmal bones fibrous dysplasia and hyperparathyroidism the treatment is uh, surgery to correct the joint deformities and it is if necessary surgery is usually undertaken after puberty Thank you.